there is a lot of buzz around Dora AI and people are saying that it can generate literally great websites without any need for web designer or UI designer. So let's find out whether Dora AI can generate a better design than me. I'm going to evaluate the design and pinpoint some of the mistakes that Dora AI is going to make. So let's find out, get started, and we are going to use Dora AI. So uh, what I did is I actually, this is Dora AI website, and this says that you can, you know, write over here and create a landing page or website or whatever you want. Now, uh, what I did is you can see over here, I actually gave Dora uh, this prompt. So you can see over here, here we have the prompt and I have 80 uh, credits remaining. So you can start over here. They ask you to sign up. You can sign up and you will be presented over here. So this is my prompt, a landing page for an instructor selling UX and UI design courses, showing testimonials and a video about your UX design, two pricing tires, uh, $99, 199 instructor already have 100K plus students around the globe. So this is my prompt. Uh, make it modern with bold typography. Let's say uh, and dark mode colors. Let's find out if it can generate. Let's generate few more because the first generation was really, really pathetic. They had a lot of spacing issues they had a lot of different type of you know uh, layout issues it was totally a mess in my opinion it was a mess even a beginner designer can build a better design than dora ai so let's so we have four uh oops where where are the options now so anyhow this is the last one they generated and you can see over here uh, okay, so this navigation is fine, average. This typeface is really, really, I wouldn't suggest any kind of typeface like this for a UI UX design, design a landing page. Unlock the secrets, okay. Very poor pink color. Anyhow, I'm not sure why the interface design has these uh, faces over here, like paintings, and also this person is standing in, okay, so this one is bearable. Okay, so now you can see the spacing over here from this part to this one is 97 from cancel from uh, from this one and this one. Let's find out 22. So it is not following any hierarchy at all. So a lot of issues with the spacing over here. Again, you can see this one is very close to over here. Uh, like you can see it has a lot of space from the top 77 okay so this is really poor so now you can see this first one has no border and the rest of them i'm not sure why they have the border learn from the best ui i'm not sure what is that this is some other language let me zoom in a bit let's zoom in to 100 percent this is gibberish i'm not sure maybe it's an image and okay so i would give it like four out of ten for this section this one let's um, see what happens next so this is pricing very very poorly designed I mentioned that there would be two pricing so I so just give me some pricing tables man this is really really irritating to view right now contact us get in touch okay this is gibberish I'm not sure what is this uh, what is that so this is very poor use of color contrast, gray on a gray, dark gray, very, very pale design. Okay, affordable prices, something like that about us, about us. This one is bearable, this one is bearable. Uh, bottom one, uh, the footer is also okay, okayish kind of design. I think if I read this design, this is a design a very beginner or very, very junior designer. They have just learned Figma and they started designing. I think they will design something similar to this. So if you ask me, I think if you are, uh, if, if you don't know anything about design or web development, then this tool might be for you. But for me, I have a good background in design, UI design, 
web app design, website design, landing page designs. So for me, this is really a disaster. Let's find out uh, the next design. So I'm going to go, let's, uh, I'm not sure where are my, uh, so let's click on generate again. Okay, so let's find out if it can generate another design. So it is going to take 15 seconds and it is going to generate few design iterations. Okay, so all of them are very, very pathetic and very, very kind of like beginner designer kind of touch as I have like 15, 20 years of experience designing websites. So this is really, really ugly designs, I would say. Let's go with this one. Okay, so I'm going to go with this one and let's find out what are the problems in this design. So now it's 2024, maybe after two or three years, it gets better and better. But right now, for me, it is really, really at the beginner level. So if you are a web designer, I don't recommend using this website. If you are anyone related to web development, web design, I think this is not for you. It is for the people who just have no budget and they are, you know, trying to avoid hiring a web developer or web designer. I think it's better to hire a web designer right now. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what is with the pink color. It is generating everything in pink. This is really strange. So I said that bold typography, it can go with, you know, dark theme. Like I said, dark colors or dark mode theme or something like that. It has to understand these kind of words and try to imitate the good websites, the great designs you see on behance.net or awards.com or maybe mobin.com. So this is really, really pathetic. So let's, let's try to have a look closer to this design. Okay, this is fine. Just okayish kind of very, very pathetic. This image is really, maybe we can replace this image but okay, so we have a lot of images over here. Oops, what happened? So this is really, really. Okay, so I can't, can I go back by control Z or command Z? Okay, no. What is happening? This is really frustrating. It's okay. So what is, what is that? No text, nothing over here. And and what is happening this is the mobile version mobile version is looks a little bit better because it is in the top to bottom style but this one is really unrealistic kind of design i'm not sure what is happening over here there is no text and let's use command z again and see if it, it come back comes back i am not satisfied at all um Visual style, missing content, yes. Uh, prompt relevance, there was not prompt, no prompt relevance. Layout, image quality was very bad. Wrong language. I'm going to say hire a UX web designer to make it better. Can you hire me for that? <laughs> Let's find out if they hire me. <laughs> this is really hilarious. Okay, so they have a Discord, but I'm not going to go over there. But for me, this is really, I'm going to give four out of 10 for the design and the quality and the image images generated and the color scheme they have used. And also uh, th there must be something like, why we have a style? Okay, so we have style over here. Let's find out dark mode. Black, uh, blue, um, minimal, uh, and um, 3D funky buttons. Let's find out. Let this. This. These are the last 20 I am going to waste on this video. <laughs> so 15 seconds. Let's find out how it is going to evolve in next 15 seconds. I'm not sure what um, uh, it has in the style. I am not an expert on AI tools, but for me, 
style should be okay so this is good this is good this is better better than before so okay so i like this one and this one so let's so this is basically a dark mode this is dark mode and i would go with this one okay so i don't have credits uh, get more credits and how can i get credits okay, so this is bad so still i think there are a lot of problems i can see in the images in the buttons over here this section is good but i'm not sure what is this it has generated and 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 this section is good and the next one gray section is better the next two is better footer is better a little bit better design i would give it 5 five out of 10 from the previous one but for me this is really really disastrous so let's just confirm I, i don't want to see these designs this is a nightmare for me i think today tonight i'm going to have a nightmare about dora ai anyhow this is enough said i think this might work for some people but what i had in my mental model it is not matching with the dora ai i am a designer i am a i have a heavy design background um, i have a design agency pro design dot tech where i we work on websites landing pages saas web apps helping startup design redesign their saas dashboards this is really poor design in my opinion so uh, this is my uh, opinion and video about dora ai right now designers if you are a designer or developers do not use dora ai at all it is going to ruin your day it is going to give you nightmares and that is my video about dora ai So I just saw a LinkedIn post. They were praising Dora AI. It was great. It it is a revolutionary tool to help web designers. I think this is right now in a very pathetic um, situation. If they want to improve it, they have to hire more web designers. They have to bring in um, uh, more kind of. you know spacing color scheme sense typography better use of typography typography and a lot of other things okay so dora ai if you are hearing really would love to take this job or as a challenge if you want me to be your you know uh ux designer to you know evolve this product or make it a better one to hire me okay i am ending this video and uh, make sure you like subscribe and share this video uh don't fall for dora ai in, at uh, it's uh, august 2024 maybe with time it might improve but maybe it can improve if they hire me <laughs> i'm just joking okay take care bye bye and i will meet you in another video